prototype class, the Camel Lights will get split. The Camel Lights division has been dominated by Pontiac and their Firebird model in the last couple of years, and Rick DeBrule has a closer look at how they're doing now. The Pontiac Lights team has been a real Jekyll and Hyde season. After winning the Manufacturer's Championship last year, they couldn't find the victory circle for the first five races of 1988. The problem, they were trying to perfect a new four-valve cylinder head. It just didn't work right out of the box like it should and didn't get our testing done early in the winter time there and went to the first race and started trying to race it right away and just had all kinds of problems. We lost all of our torque, became a very peaky engine, and had a lot of reliability problems. So they switched back to the old reliable two-valve, and although it took a couple of races to get back in stride, Pontiacs have now won the last six. We've developed it into a very high torque, fairly low RPM motor. We get good horsepower, but we get exceptional torque out of it, and it's good on a, on a track like uh, the track here. We have a real good aerodynamics. The chassis is very good. Puts the power on the road very well, so we can come off the turn good. The car acts like it has a lot of horsepower. It really doesn't. It's just the torque. It's just real drivable. We have a real wide power band uh, that makes it just super to drive. The other key has been mating that engine up to the Spice chassis. Although designed and built in England, it had plenty of Pontiac input. And they were involved, heavily involved in the aerodynamics of it uh, here in the U.S. and over in England. And uh, I think it was very critical to making the package work. That's what we have here is something that they, from concept, it's been designed to work with this motor. And it works. It was a long-term plan, basically. We wanted to get started in lights, but we knew eventually we were going to get to GTP, to the V8 car. But we felt that GTP Lite was a good starting point. Develop that car, use that technology, move it into GTP. And then there's one more thing, a touch of pride. But still, you got Mazda in here and uh, Porsche-powered fab cars and that type of thing. It's nice to come into the series and be able to do it with an American car. And they have done it with an American car. They are defending manufacturers' champions in Camel Lights, and they are 39 points ahead of Buick in the battle for the 1988 title.